Hi, my name is Mass, and today I'm going to show you how to set a wise type switch from a script. In a previous exercise, you already learned how to post an event based on the animation so that when the player's foot would touch the ground, an event would be played. The problem right now is that the switch of the sound material is never set. So the footstep sound that is played will just continue to be dirt, which is the default switch. You will adapt the post wise event script to first set the switch before the event is posted. To demonstrate this, we'll use one of the WISE 301 certification scenes. So go to AudioKinetic, go to Certification, go to 301, go to Lesson 5, and go down to setting a switch using a WISE type. So start by clicking the player. In the previous exercise, you made this post WISE event script, and in this script, you created a WISE type event property with the name my event and posted it from the player footstep sound function, which is called whenever the player's foot in the animation is touching the ground. Just for demonstration, let's quickly make a switch property so you'll know how that looks. So under the my event property, make a new line, write public so we can see it, and then ak wise switch and my switch, and save the script. Now go into Unity and look at the post wise event script. You now get a new switch and click that property and go to switches, general, surface type. These surface types are both used by the footstep, but also something like the weapon attacks, so that the weapons know exactly what they are hitting. So if you start by setting this to grass and then go into the script again, you can now set the switch from the play footstep sound script. First, we need to set the switch before the event is played, so the event played is the correct material type. And so make a space just in front of posting the my event and then write my switch dot set value. Now, because the my event is posted on the player game object, which is just referenced by game object, we can also give it the game object in the set value. This is important because switches work on a per game object basis. And so when you set a switch for a game object, only that game object will know that a switch has been changed. And you can now save the script connect the profiler, press play, and you'll now see that the default value, dirt, is no longer set, but it's now grass. However, we need this to adapt. So whenever the player is running on dirt, it needs to be dirt, and whenever the player is running on grass, it needs to be grass. And for that, we've labeled everything in the Wise Adventure game using sound material scripts. So if you click the ground underneath the player, you'll notice there's a sound material script attached to that game object. If you open the script, you'll notice that this script has nothing else than just a single property. And that's because it works as a classification of what this material is. So whenever the player runs on this material or attacks this material, the system will know what kind of material it is. And you can also click the grass in the sides. You'll see that another switch has been assigned, the grass, whereas the dirt underneath the player is dirt. All right, so we need to retrieve this value whenever we run on this material. And for that, we've already prepared a material checker script for you. So if you search for toe and look at the toe left, you'll find a material checker script. This material checker script will look onto the player and then figure out what kind of material is below it. So all we need to do is call this material checker and let it know that we need to know what the material is underneath the player's foot. So go into the post wise event script. Let's just delete the switch above because that exists in the sub material script. And let's delete the value we set in the play footstep sound. So the way you access the material checker is through something called the player manager. So write player manager and a period. So if you just search for foot, these two properties foot L and foot R refers to the material checkers that we just looked at attached to the toes in the game. And inside this script, you'll find a get material function. Notice that this get material function has a AKY switch in front of it. And that's because it doesn't refer to the sub material script itself, but it actually refers all the way down to the switch itself. Just like if we had made the property just above. Add a period. And then like before, write set value and add the game object as we did before. So what you do now is that you go through the player manager, retrieve the material checker. The material checker will look under the foot and get the switch of that sound material you're walking on. And then it will set that value, but it will set that value on the same game object 
that we set the event on. So let's now save the script, connect the profile again, press play. And now notice that the dirt is first set because the player starts on dirt, then we ran to the grass, and then the grass is set. So that means that you are not only setting a switch, but you're setting a switch based on a system. So by knowing this, you are not only able to set a switch, but you're also able to set up the hooks to the system yourself. If you want to learn more about how to use WISE in Unity, check out the WISE Leo 1 certification.